Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with my January, February and March favorites. I don't normally do favorites videos. I think I do them like bi-yearly and I actually didn't do one in January which I'm shocked. I have been using all these products either every day, every other day. I alternate them. I'm just, I have quite a few stuff here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so how about we just get started and I stop talking? Well, no, I'm gonna keep talking. Anyway, whatever. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I'm just gonna show you guys what I have been loving for the last three months. And I think that that's fair to say because I've been using them non-stop. So let's get started with bases. Um, my favorite, favorite, absolute favorite, you guys, this probably isn't a surprise and it's really dingy right now. And it is my Emberlease Lock Cream Concentrate. And this is a moisturizer. I use this as a primer and a moisturizer. It works fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm actually, I've actually, you know, made a dent on this bad boy, which I never thought I would. So the next thing I love using and I've been loving using is my Maybelline Master Prime By Face Studio Primer. And this one's actually the Blur and Illuminate one. It just gives you that opalescent glow. It's not too pigmented. I actually have been using this. I make sure I use it in the T-zone and on the tops of my fluffy cheeks. And I've been loving it and I a little goes a long way but I've been using it like every other day to, just to give me that glowy skin especially at work because I've been feeling exhausted lately so this actually does help brighten up the face a little bit not too much so for concealers I have two concealers pardon me I'm a little itchy the first one I've been like loving I'm gonna show you guys how much I've been loving this is my Tarte under eye CC corrector so this one is in light medium this is going to be a buy like I will rebuy it I've hit pan I have hit pan like I didn't think I would and I, I realized that I, I really use it mostly on that side and of course I use this as a corrector which is perfect for under the eyes. I actually even use it as a um, a base for my eyeshadows. I just pack powder on it on top of my eyelid and it just neutralizes my eyelids, which I think is phenomenal because I absolutely love it. I do recommend this. It is a little um, thick, but a little bit goes a long way. Like I could have done both under eyes there and it kind of sets on you, which I think is fantastic as well. So my next concealer is my, of course, Maybelline instant age rewind and this one is in light pale i'm going to need to replenish this i'm actually on a no buy i would just replenish on like this and i'm on a mascara but i have so many mascaras that that's not gonna happen so i'm probably just gonna go and start using some of my other concealers but if i feel like those are just too much for me then I'm gonna go back and replenish on this try it out if you haven't yet you can always get coupons for it um, CVS and Target sell them not CVS Target and Walmart sell them for a lot cheaper than you would find them at Wal um, at Walgreens and CVS so check it out so anyway I have been loving and it's filthy don't mind it I have been loving my real technique sponge I actually can't find my booty blender anywhere I do have another one but I just don't want to use it just yet I just can't find my beauty blender I can't it's in the midst of this mess but I have been loving my real techniques perfection complexion sponge it is $5.99 you can find this at Ulta Walmart and that's about it and you can always buy one get one half off they always have that sale at Ulta um, so you can't go wrong and then you get the three dollar off ten dollar come on now you can get these bad boys are awesome it is perfection it has the perfect angle to just to put your foundation and this is the side that I use for my concealer it's dirty we're gonna put this away now I'm ashamed but anyway, uh, speaking of face products, I have been absolutely loving my IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. As you can see, I've made a dent on it. This is the Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. So this is not a foundation. Um, it is more of a CC cream. Now, I do find that I get good coverage with this. It just evens out my skin tone. Um, I haven't worn it in about a week. I've actually been using other products to try out, but I've absolutely been loving this. This is in the shade medium and I have the compact of this as well. So I've also been alternating between my Maybelline Dream Wonder Touch Fluid Foundation. This is amazing. This is the in the shade 40 nude. Um, I think I've had this for 
quite a few months now. I've had this for a while and I've used this a lot and I literally just take the wand and put it on my face. My face is always clean before I do makeup and or I'll put it in the back of my hand and stipple it on with my kabuki brush. This is fantastic. I do feel like the shade is a little too dark for me but I always lighten it up with powders. Um, they don't have an in-between shade which is so aggravating because I think if they had the shade 30 I'd be perfect for it or it'd be perfect for me. <laughs> um, but yes, they go from the shade 10, 20 to 40. So their shade range isn't massive. I think they have a total of maybe nine or 10 shades or something like that on their display. But this looks like it's gonna be a permanent line. One pet peeve of mine is that this is only 0.67 fluid ounces. It is not even a whole ounce. And I think I said that in my review for this, but I still have it. And a little bit does go a long way. I get that coverage that I want. Um, and it sets on my skin beautifully and I don't know I actually really really love this so I have been absolutely loving this is an oldie but a goodie I actually came back to this um, after I stopped using my physician's formula setting powder and I've been loving my Rimmel Stay Matte long lasting pressed powder and this one's in the shade 005 Silky Beige absolutely love this it's just a basic powder it's perfect for setting it's not too thick I just scratched it <laughs> and I think I'm almost hitting pan because I can see the little circle so I am almost hitting pan on this this would probably be a repurchase but I do have other powders that I can use up before I have to buy any other so the next thing I've been like dying and this I might have to repurchase because I know I'm on a no buy but this I'm I'm going to probably have to be like yeah no I'm repurchasing this it is my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer this is a light medium matte bronzer this is, and I'm almost hitting pan on it and I'm devastated one it still smells like chocolate I use this every every listen look at me, every day every day even if I like just have moisturizer on and I just want to give my face a little color every day it is fantastic it is a neutral you don't even really see it it blends beautifully I even use it as an eyeshadow for days that I just you know just quick bang 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 I use this all the time my family loves it they're like it smells like chocolate in here yeah it does. it's fantastic so I have been loving my Inglot number 77 eyeliner I have it on today and look I'm gonna show you guys I've used this every day since I bought it maybe like a week after I bought it I started using it or two weeks after I bought it and it's been months I think it was like November December when I picked this I think it was November it was in November that I picked this up and I'm gonna show you guys how much of this I've used. I haven't made, I mean, I've made a nice dent on it, as you guys can see, but that's all the product I've used. I use this every single day. I just, I, this, I use it every day, every day. I even use it to tight line and for my waterline. I don't use anything else. I haven't used my Wet n Wild um, Fergie pencil, which was my favorite. This doesn't get in my contacts as the Fergie one does, so maybe that's why I use it. If you're looking for a gel or a cream eyeliner, I hands down would recommend this a lot. It's black, it is matte, it sets, it doesn't go anywhere. Unless you have like extremely oily lids where there's no saving you, would, would I ever think that this wouldn't work for you? But this is fantastic. On the waterline, tight line, perfection. The next thing I've absolutely been loving and it's got disgusting fingerprints all over it. Ugh, just, there's no helping me. This is the Dim Infusion Ambient Lighting Blush. It is my favorite. I use it every day. It is gorgeous. It is beautiful. It is soft. It doesn't look like much on here but it just goes on your skin. It gives you that like kissed peachy glow. It is absolutely beautiful. And I knew I was gonna love this. I knew it. And the first day I tried it, I was like, oh. I have been loving my Mary Luminizer from the Balm. Oh, I broke it again. It's cracked again, but I actually fixed this. Anyway, you guys have heard of Mary Luminizer. It's been out for many, many years. A little bit goes a long way. I actually use this on the inner corner of my eye for brow highlights, the tops of my cheeks, the center of my nose. It is gorgeous. It is just something that's gonna last you for a long time. I've had it for well over a year. I wanna say almost two years now. And that was the little bit that I like pushed in. And it just gives you that glow. It's absolutely magnificent, gorgeous. I hands down would recommend it. It is super soft. So if you drop this, this will break. 
but I got this bad boy put together again and now I, it seems like I have to do it again. Of course, I've been loving the Z palette, my Z palette. This is absolutely an amazing investment. If you want to depot stuff, definitely recommend getting a Z palette. Now, these are all my favorite powders. These are the two Makeup Geek brushes that I actually mixed together and it is in the shade Smitten and I want to say, no, I don't remember, Spellbound. So Smitten and Spellbound, I actually have them both on today with something else on top and um, it's magnificent together, separate, they're beautiful, but I like mixing them together. And my favorite Inglot eyeshadow is, is this one 239, 439? This one's 341 is this one right here and it reminds me of the shade in the Lorac 2 palette which I love. And this is my banana powder and my Cody Air Spun powder, which I have pressed. And these powders I use every day under the eyes and for on top of my lids. Once I put on a base, I like to set it. So those are like my favorite powders. I don't have to go into depth because mm, I use them every day. <laughs> so the next thing I've been loving are this right here. This is actually, a, is this a Z palette? This is a Z palette as well. I absolutely love it. It comes with a full size mirror. And these right here, absolute favorites. Um, I have been using these. Well, I got some new eyeshadows recently, but I have been using these every single day. Every time I get ready for work, I just pop on a couple of these. My favorite is, which one is this one? Beaches and Cream? Is this one Beaches and Cream? Uh, Peach Smoothie, Beaches and Cream, um, Shimmer Shimmer. Cosmopolitan and Coco Bear are like my like favorites. I use these all the time. I create really, really basic looks, but I love the transition colors. These are some amazing shadows. I mean, you guys see all these big YouTubers talking about Makeup Geek and Anastasia and this, then third. I don't want to believe into the hype, but I also want to try them as well. And I'm so excited that I finally got my hands into some Makeup Geek. Not only one or two, I got like a lot. Those have been my favorites. I've been using them non-stop, non-stop. Of course, for this eye look, I don't have them on today. <laughs> so my favorite mascara has been the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Um, I didn't think I would like this when I first tried this out. The wand is curved and it has some longer um, bristles. Bristles, these are like, this is a rubber wand, a rubber brush or applicator and I don't know, I'm, I don't really care for the rubber style, but some of them are really good, and this is one of them. This would definitely be a repurchase once I'm done with my other mascaras. This is fantastic. I have it, of course, on my eyes today. I can build it up. This actually curls my lashes. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to do or what, but I don't, I haven't been curling my lashes at all, if anything, like for the last few months. So last but not least, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite lip combo, and it is my Jordana Coco Loco. I'll swatch it, because I love it so much. And I think I did this on a video. I can't remember, I have amnesia. This is like the perfect deep brown lip liner. Jordana makes some amazing lip liners. I will always go for Jordana lip liners. I think they only have like six or seven shades. But for the most part, I use them all. I don't know why I hesitated there. I need to catch my breath. This one has been my favorite. I put this under all my new lipsticks and it just gives me that depth. It almost contours my lips. And you can definitely contour your lips with this before you put on a nude. So my favorite nude for the last like two months. And I know people are like, oh, these aren't that great, blah, blah, blah. I don't care, I like it. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick and this one is in the shade Pure Hollywood. Absolutely love these two together. I have been using this nonstop. On me, this lipstick lasts a while. It does wear off, but I like the way it wears off because with Coco Loco under it, it just still gives me, it actually gets deeper as it wears off because I have this dark lip liner under it and I still can rock it for the most part all day. I can just put some chapstick on top and blend it to my lips and it looks like I have just another lipstick on. It's just a great combo. At least for me, it's like my perfect nude and I've been loving it. So anyway guys, I've talked your ear off for probably a long time. This was a lot of favorites, but these are products that I have used nonstop for the last at least three months. And some of these I was using from like December. So this is actually favorites. These are like my go-tos, quick and easy, get ready for work makeup for the most part. <laughs> Even though I'll wear a full face, these are just the products that I depend on 
on an everyday basis. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. Please thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye. Why? <laughs> I don't know what that was. That was a seizure. Okay, we started now. <laughs> I got so much stuff. <gasps> All right. Okay, we got this. I got like pillows everywhere. Push it real good. Ah.